start of the 2024 season is upon us, and there is no better time to be a baseball fan than opening day. Traditions and celebrations fill with joy and excitement for a new season. This opening day is an extra emotional one for Red Sox Nation. It will be the first without number 49, Tim Wakefield. Wake is the name used by those close to him, but there's another nickname that teammates used, the Heavy. A nickname that came with being the enforcer of veteran leadership for young ball players finding their way at the MLB level. A tradition passed down for decades to make sure that young men can learn that it's a privilege, not a right, to be a big leaguer. It was supposed to make you mentally tougher, and for me, personally, it worked. The tough love of a teammate meant that they actually cared deeply about you and your development. The heavy cared greatly about his teammates and the desire to win. Wake was unique, not only in his ability to manipulate the flight of the ball, but his ability to care deeply for people. I love this guy. I'm proud of this guy. It's the hardest, <laughs> it's the hardest thing to do to take yourself out of the game for someone else. But he did it, and I'm proud of him. When some think that being called sensitive makes you weak, it was a term of endearment for Wake. He was a great father to Brianna and Trevor, as well as a great husband to Stacy. On May 15, 2004, Stacy gave birth to their first child, Trevor. Wake by her side in the hospital watched the game on Nessie. That day was my big league call-up. My first hit was in my second at bat. And it is gone. After receiving the ball back from a fan, our clubhouse staff saved the ball to have a special message written upon it. I didn't get that ball back until we got back to Fenway. Receiving this beautifully written inscription on the ball was a special moment. All the more so that mine was written by Wake in his beautiful penmanship. He loved personally documenting career firsts and milestones for all his teammates on the ball. The detail and time he spent making these baseballs symbolize his love and passion for his teammates. Our lives are filled with dreams and hopes. Wake fulfills so many of them in a short period of time on this earth. Raising money for the Dana-Farber Institute as the team captain of the Jimmy Fund and proudly becoming the honorary chairman of the Red Sox Foundation in 2013. His selfless charitable works led to his proudest moment as a ball player, winning the Roberto Clemente Award in 2010, a true match that gave back to the New England community that provided him support for so many years as a player. Wake, I will miss sitting down before calling games on Nesson and talking about the good old days. Talking about our families and those team dinners where you would be the team sommelier and order some of the best wines from around the globe. Personally, I wasn't a huge fan of the heavy French wines, but made sure to polish off every glass out of respect to the heavy. So many great memories on and off the field, filled with many different emotions. Jim Valvano once said that if you laugh, you think, and you cry, that's a full day. That's a heck of a day. You do that seven days a week, you're gonna have something special. Well, we were very lucky to have a lot of full days with Wake along the way. It was a heck of a run bringing those championships home to Boston. The 2024 season will not be the same without our dear friends, Tim and Stacy Wakefield, but the world is a better place because of the footprint they left behind for all of us. Tim and Stacy, Red Sox Nation will miss you greatly, and we will always cherish the great memories we all uniquely shared with you both. Make sure to say some of those great wines for the day we reconnect again. Love you and miss you. Cheers.